This is Fairy Jacobs from the Netherlands, and he has a big catapult. It's made from 100-foot-high cranes. And what does Fairy intend to launch from this beast? Just himself? This guy has definitely taken one for team science here. He's put himself on the line, his own safety, his own life, to test out a human catapult. That's very high. You just read the laws of physics, guys. You don't have to feel it in your body and almost die. So how exactly has Barry used physics to become a flying Dutchman? So this isn't like a bungee jump or an elastic catapult. This is a solid rope fixed in place with weights hanging off the end. They have a huge amount of potential energy stored in these heavy weights on one side of the catapult, and they're converting that into kinetic energy, which has to be transferred to a very small mass of the person being flung in the air. OK, but what exactly are those? So these guys have created a pulley system with a ratio of 1 to 16. That means when the heavy weight drops one meter or one foot, the other side of the rope goes up 16 meters or 16 feet. Which means in the time it takes for that to drop two meters, he's moved 32 meters. So you can see how he could be moving so quickly. As soon as the weight drops, Barry's catapulted 70 stories into the air, reaching speeds of around 160 miles an hour. That's more than an astronaut feels taking off in a rocket. But as the old saying goes, what goes up must come down. And Ferry was high enough that he needs a parachute to make terra firma. You gotta ask yourself, why do they do it? They do it for the women. 